what we're going to do right now is an amp draw with our fluke meter uh, the 362 like we've been using we get to use this mechanism to do our amp draw we're not going to we're not going to clamp on the wire like that even though this is called a clamp meter we just kind of loop the wire through what I'm going to do is set it to A for amps and then a straight line for DC because if you look down here we got a DC motor um, so I've got this thing turned on set ready to go we're using the clamping mechanism so we don't need the leads so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp around the black wire on this only one if you clamp around both of them they'll cancel each other out and you're going to get a pretty much a zero value so I'm going to start the treadmill and you can see it spikes up pretty good five or six amps to get going and then kind of settles down it's pretty normal now I'm going to speed it on up and you can see as we speed it up that amp draw is going up because that controller is loading up to drive the motor and generate the torque to turn it but once it gets up to speed it kind of levels out kind of like the way a car is once it gets up to speed it kind of cools down and just chugs along so we're going three miles an hour and we're drawing three amps that's about right what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna we're gonna look at this uh, amp draw here as as somebody walks on the treadmill and you can see what that's doing to the numbers and it's about a 240 pound person on there and uh, so that's not too bad this belt's in pretty good shape now if, if my user could stomp on the treadmill a little bit so he's stomping on it a little bit and you can see the numbers shooting up and that's normal so if you had a really worn out walking belt these numbers would be sustained over 15 amps um, and spiking maybe close to 20 uh, if the walking belt was truly worn out. This belt's not in terrible shape. Alright, thank you so much.